Hello, everybody. I'd like to introduce you to Justine. Hello, Justine. Good morning. And uh, Justine is someone that I've been working with that has been willing to go on video for us to learn about some of the indicators that I talk about. So today with Justine, I'm going to bring your attention to what I would call a blood indication where we're looking at blood ingredients. There's two ways I perceive blood. One where there could be an imbalance with the blood or illness and other when we're looking at blood ingredients or ingredient ratios which we relate to sugars, irons, cholesterol, it's just you know the composite that would be included in the mixture of blood. As you're learning about how to perceive indicators, the most effective way to do that is in the presence of someone. So videos and photographs are not as easy to learn indicators as you are becoming acquainted with them. So we're going to present indicators to you as best we can through the video series and it's going to be uh, your opportunity to see if you can blend your sense of touch with your eyesight and then observe that in a video. So as you are bringing your awareness to Justine's face, what I notice is that she holds her presence in her skin. There's a veneer that I perceive right on her face. And, and one way I might describe this too is if you think of mime and they have their face painted white. And the reason they do that is because they want to just really bring your attention to the activity of the face. So as I look at Justine, I perceive right here that there's a presence on her that tells me that there's something going on with her ingredients of blood. And as we've been looking at Justine's blood work, there's a, a considerable iron deficiency. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. And so as we're learning about cordum technique and, and perceiving indicators, it's about finding the words that describe what we're perceiving. So in this example, as we're looking at a blood indication, and as I've been talking with my medical colleagues here, another way of describing it as you look at us is that for Justine, there is a, a pronounced quality to her skin surface. There's a pushing out. Whereas if you were to look at me, you might perceive a either a recess or just a stillness where there isn't that pressure or there isn't that pushing out at the skin's surface. And again, here's where combining your eyesight with your sense of touch is essential because if you're simply just looking at us, you're not going to connect with the body's language of indicators. So you need to blend and, and, and perceive that texture, perceive that push, perceive that presence as you look at us.